Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. And finally, on camera, on film, without getting my knuckles wrapped, I am allowed to say the word Maxwell, because that's what we're here to talk about today, and it's the new NVIDIA Maxwell. Now, there's been a lot of hype, there's a lot of the anticipated gamers. The fanboys have been out in full force about the new architecture, but NVIDIA have done something slightly different with this one. Normally they release the big cards first and then they work their way backwards. But for the first time, they've released the baby card. Now straight away, I've got a pretty, or my own kind of thoughts on why they've done this. Because this is the GTX 750 Ti. Uh, this is 114.99 GBP and uh, you can get the non-Ti version for 90 pounds GBP. Um, I don't know what the, uh, U the, uh, the USD prices are going to be at the time of launch because um, uh, it's hard enough for me getting uh, GBP prices from my local you know, NVIDIA rep. But anyway, so my thoughts on the, um, the, the, kind of the fact that they've started small. Now let's, let's think back to the, the last launches that we had of the 780, the 780 Ties and the Titans and all that kind of stuff. What they essentially did is they released a whole big block of new cards in and then the older cards kind of renamed or shuffled down the line. So the, the, the 760 was obviously used to be the 670 and everything kind of got renamed. So the, the lower end cards are the older cards in the range. The 780 was obviously newer, the 780 tie they are the, the newer gen. So all they're doing by going from the bottom up this time is they're replacing the older cards first. Um, so, you know, I know the AMD fanboys are going to love the fact that, you know, Maxwell starting off with the small stuff, but, you know, that's the way it did used to be. But anyway, so whatever you think of it, I can kind of understand why they're doing it because they, they, they're, they're replacing the newer stuff. Anyway, so Maxwell. It is a whole new architecture. And uh, from what I'm seeing with Maxwell, it is very, very much about power efficiency to the kind of levels that you would never normally see, um, or at least we're not used to seeing. That NVIDIA are saying in the last four years, the, the power efficiency that they've been working on has got four times greater. But one thing I do need to say right at the very beginning is so you can uh, click down in the link uh, let's go and have a look at the, all of the tests that we've done, because we've given this card our normal tests. So we've done 1920 by 1080 results, we've done 2560 by 1440 results. We've, done, we've treated this as we would a normal graphics card. Now obviously, blatantly, a £115 card, um, that is you know, the bottom end of the range. Uh, you're not going to be expecting to put out masses and masses of frames per second. But the thing is, is this has been this is kind of tiered at replacing the GTX 650 tie, which you know pretty much even you know up till the day that this arrived, uh, that was our low end graphics card of choice because we never really kind of favoured the 7770 or the 7790 when that got replaced. We actually did really think that the, the 650 tie was a great card. Now the thing is with the 650 tie is that came in at around the 150 GBP mark when that was launched. Now this is pretty much trading blows with the 650 tie, but it's cheaper. But the thing is, is what they're saying is that they're saying this has got two times performance than what of the 550 tie. Um, and to be fair, <laughs> Considering the amount of power this thing uses, it is nuts. Um, we've got our stock test rig, which is, I'm just looking at it out of the right hand side of my screen. It's a Rampage 4 Extreme. Uh, there's a 3960X in it, 4.6 gigahertz. 32 gig of RAM, we've got an AX1200 watt power supply. There's fans in there, there's two solid state drives. It's a fair old lumpy rig. Now, with the, GTX, with the GTX 650 tie in there, it was pulling, because I've got my little graph here as well, because I actually have, have, have actually printed them off. It was pulling 298 watts. Now, what we use to load everything up is the same thing that we've used all along, and it's with all of the tests, and that is we loop Unigen. And then that means you've got a good graphical test going on. It means it does use a fair bit of CPU. It's a fairly good benchmark tool for you know, doing some gaming, but the thing is, is where it loops and it loops and it loops, 
it also gives you a good chance to um, for it to be you know kind of extended runs rather than you know actually playing uh, games and stuff. So that's the reason why we use that. But anyway, so the GTX 650 tire was 298 watts, and that's the peak load that it pulled from the wall, which doesn't sound like a lot. But then we've been trying to tell you this for a while. To put it into context, the 280X, which is essentially a 7970, would pull 434 watts from the wall. Um, now, this pulls, with that system, 221 watts from the wall. So you're looking at roughly a 70 watt difference between this and the 650 tie. Um, now, the lowest graphics card I could find here was a passive called AMD HD5550. It's a low profile card, it's tiny, the type of thing that you might want in a HTPC or like a server or something. That pulled 212 watts from the wall. So it pulled 9 watts less than this thing, apart from the games and stuff, it would just be non existent. You would not get it to be running. Um, uh, the games that we have. I mean, just to put things into context, uh, and you can see all the graphs and all the results on the website, don't forget, I just decided, rather than boring you, I'd just kind of talk you through stuff. The 650 tie boost gets an average frames per second of uh, 37.5 in Alien vs Predator, and that's obviously 1920 by 1080. But this little thing, had an average frames per second of 61.6 in Alien vs Predator. Now one thing I will say is when it does come to games, uh, this does kind of trade blows with a 650 tie boost. Um, but some of the, uh, and in a lot of the games as well, it's um, above a 7850. Uh, now you might think, you know, oh 7850 old, and you know, you would be fair, but this is kind of 7770, 7790 money. Yeah, it's you know seven eight fifty kind of beating performance. If you don't see the seven eight fifty in the graphs on the website, then that's because it's this is in front of it. Just to kind of to give you another give you a kind of guesstimate. But when we do our graphics testing on the website, we run everything completely maxed out, which is obviously a hundred pound card anti-aliasing it's going to struggle with and if you if you were to kind of take one of these and be willing to maybe turn something down to uh from ultra high to high or turn the, the aliasing down a bit the frames a second are going to rock it <clears throat> so i didn't want to do you know a massive kind of enormous um thing with this uh mainly because I don't think it would, you know, be relatively worth it. All you really need to know is uh, it's new Maxwell. It uses ridiculous levels of power, and I mean it, it horrifically power efficient. Because, you know, let's face it, the, the recent AMD launch, they, they use an, an immense amount of power. It's completely the opposite end of the scale. Um, if we put uh, a, a 290, I know it's the high-end graphics card before people start shouting at the screen, but if we put a 290 in that rig, it's pulling over 500 watts, nigh on, nigh on 600 watts. Um, so, and I know there's a lot of performance different. I'm just trying to give you kind of a, an idea of power differences that they do run. But this, I think this is kind of, it, it's a good kind of benchmark a good kind of idea where things are going with Nvidia. They've obviously been, uh, they've done very well with power efficiency in the past because uh, all of this, the 700 series were very, very power efficient, which was another reason why they kept temps in check. That was another reason why they were able to ramp the clocks up. That's where GPU Boost 2 come from. So th this is a good kind of uh, idea on where the market is going to be going. And I know that there's many of you out there that don't necessarily think, oh, 750 tie. But at the same time, there are a lot of people that do. And for £115, it does pack quite a punch. Um, you can still get the 650 tie boost for around the £100 mark. But we do need to remember, this is a brand new card, not something that's been around for a couple of years. And we also need to remember that this is a, uh, it's going to use an immense amount, a lot lower power. Something else to consider with this though is it is quite small. It doesn't use much power. The cooler's not great, but it could be made better quite easily by a good AIB. Um, 
I actually think that this could feature a lot in some of the cheaper uh, steam boxes or it would be good as a steam box because a lot of the steam box cases and stuff now they have a little riser cards this one is only uh, a single slot PCB on the back sorry a single slot mount on the back the cooler does come out, out a little bit from it but you know this could be a, a, a wicked little steam box card and obviously um, I'm considering it, this hasn't got a six pin PCI Express on it but the mount is there, so I'm kind of assuming by the fact that that's there, it is two, a two gigabyte card by the way, um, but there's more memory slots around the back, so I wouldn't be surprised if we were to see in the not too distant future, maybe Maxwell replacements for the 760 and maybe even the 770, and if they stay around this kind of size, I know they're gonna need more power adding, you know, more power regs and stuff, but you could end up with a tiny, little steam box card that packs an awful punch um, but essentially Maxwell it's not going to set the hardcore gamers alike just yet but for the lower end of the market you're getting graphics cards that are going to pull a lot less power they do perform quite well I mean this cooler is uber basic with a tiny fan on it and it still performed really well it wasn't loud or anything and if you have a look on the results on the website obviously this card is down near the bottom of our graphs because we've obviously got Titans and GTX um, 780 ties and that type of thing in the list. But nevertheless, it's still on the list and it's still, just look at the numbers, it's still putting out some brilliant numbers there. But anyway, what I'm going to do is don't forget to click the link to go to the full review. Um, this is Tiny Tom Logan with uh, the first video about the new NVIDIA Maxwell card. Um, the GTX 750 Ti. But anyway, this is Times of Logan with another video for you. Out!